Hello guys and welcome to a new video of the JavaFX8 tutorial. In today's video will be about the grid pane. Okay, so we are gonna need two videos in order to explain all the details uh, about the grid pane. Okay, so let's start. Let's go to our first slide. Okay, and here we have an image or an example of what we can do with the grid pane. It's well, a, a very basic example, but it will help us to explain how it works. So the idea behind the grid pane is to arrange nodes or um, in, into a grid inside the stage inside our inside our application. Okay, so this grid or this table will have columns and will have rows, and these rows will and columns will form uh, cells, and inside those cells we're placing our nodes. Okay, so we can place one or more nodes if we want, um, or we can place another pane inside a node if we want. Okay, so these rows and columns will have a, like an index, like if it was a, a, a spreadsheet, for example, and the, the rows and the columns, uh, they start from zero, and then uh, they will continue uh, to increase the number. For example, we have these two columns here, and this will be column zero, and this will be column one, and the same will happen and the same will be to the rows, row 0, then row 1, and 2, and so on. Okay, so that's how we can place uh, our nodes inside the grid pane by, by specifying the number of the column and the number of the row. Okay, so then we have the rows and the column span, and this um, will help us to place a node um, inside one. Uh, um, one or more columns if we want, or one or more rows if we want. For example, if we want this text here to cover uh, these two columns here in the same row, the column span for this uh, text will be two, uh, which means that it will cover two columns. And if we would like to uh, this uh, have this text uh, to cover more than one row, we can uh, change the row span to number two or more. This means that, the, that this text here will cover more rows. Okay, and then we have the alignment. And um, this alignment is uh, the alignment of the node inside the cell, inside its so its cell. Um, and we can change uh, the alignment of of uh, all the nodes and um, assign different alignments for for the nodes inside the grid pane. Okay, then we have the vertical and the horizontal gaps, and these vertical and horizontal gaps uh, are the gaps or the space between the columns and the rows. Vertical gap will be the space between the um, the rows. Okay, so this will be if we set a vertical gap of 10 pixels, for example, we will have 10 pixels between each row. Okay, this 10 pixel will apply for all the rows inside the grid pane. And, the, and if we have an horizontal gap of 10 pixels, then we'll, we, we will have a, a spacing between the columns of the grid pane of 10 pixels. Okay, so these are uh, the points that we are covering today. And let's go to uh, NetBeans in order to explain this. Okay, so here we have a grid pane. And this will be our root node in this case. And here we have um, a couple of uh, of uh, properties that we can modify in order to to change the configuration of the grid pane. And one of um, one of the more useful properties is the grid lines and visible property. So we can use the this method set grid lines visible to true if we want to see the the uh, the lines. Or the grid inside our grid pane. Okay, here we have uh, the method, the methods that set uh, the vertical gap and the horizontal gap, set B gap and set H gap. Okay, we are setting this met uh, these properties to 10. Okay, we want 10 pixels uh, for spacing between each row and each column, and also we are setting a uh, padding for this grid pane. We already reviewed this in, in previous videos. Okay, 10 pixels uh, of padding. Okay, so we have defined uh, eight components. 
as you saw in the image, uh, eight components, and we're placing them into our uh, our grid pane. Okay, so this is the result of this code uh, so far. We have the eight elements. Here we have uh, four text nodes, three text fields, and one button here. And as you can see here, we have the, the gaps, the, and the horizontal gap here for our two columns, and we have the vertical gap for our five rows. Okay. And okay, so how do we place the nodes inside our uh, grid pane? We use the static method set constraints, and inside of it, we need to pass the, the name of the node that we want to place inside the grid pane, and then the coordinates, let's say. Or the column first, and the row then uh, for the cell that we want to 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 use. In this case, we're placing in the first cell uh, this uh, this node, this text node here, with um, which will have this this text. Okay, and then we have another text, and we are placing this in the uh, first column and the second row. Okay. Okay, and this is this one here. Okay, first column, second row. Remember, this is not a row, this is the spacing. This is not a column, this is the spacing between the columns. Okay, and well, we are doing the same with the other components. Okay, so what happens if we want to uh, modify the span of this component here, this header here? So, in order to do that, we use the static method set column span and we are passing to this method the node that we want to um, to modify the span and then we are saying uh, the number of columns that we want this that we want to cover with this node okay we are using set column span here and we want this node to cover two columns okay if we uh, would like to, uh, to modify the row span, we only change this column uh, word here for row span. So we have another method called set row span, and and it, re and, it and it works the same. We need to pass the the node and the number of rows that we want to uh, to make this uh, node to cover inside the grid pane. Okay, so let's uh, execute again this application and see how it looks okay so as you can see here now this uh, node here is covering these two columns so that's how the span works okay and, and you can do the same if you want to if you want a node to cover uh, more than one row okay okay so that's how it works so we want to modify now the alignment of these nodes inside the grid pane. We want to make this node here, um, this uh, text here, um, to be centered inside these two columns, and we want these uh, nodes here to be aligned to the uh, to the right of the of the cells of each cell, and we want this button here to be aligned to the right as well to to this cell. Okay, so. In order to do that, we have another here. We have another method, a static method called set h alignment. Okay, so this is the horizontal alignment of the of the node, and we need to pass the method uh, the node here that we want to modify the alignment, and then we need to use uh, h pos, and then select select the uh, the alignment that we want. So we want center, center alignment for this this header here. Okay, and then we have the other nodes, the other uh, text text uh, uh, text node here, and we are setting the alignment to um, in this case to the right. Okay. We are using uh, horizontal alignment. We use H pos, and then we select the the value, okay, for the for the alignment, okay. And if we want to modify the vertical alignment, we use B B pos, 
ok ok so let's do the same for the other nodes and see how it looks uh, ok ok so we have to, um, uh, added all the, the lines of code of code that modify the alignment and let's uh, execute the application to see how it looks ok so as you can see here we have aligned this header here to the center of these two columns and we have aligned these text nodes to the right uh, position of the of the cell of, of inside each cell here we have aligned these text fields to the left okay and we have aligned this button it was here uh, before we have aligned this to the right position okay so um, this is how uh, the grid pane works and the alignment with the alignment and the and the index and the span and uh, in the next video we will uh, review more uh, more characteristics uh, uh, of the grid pane so don't miss the next video okay so this was part one of the uh, grid pane layout and don't miss part two because we are covering more details and more properties of this uh, this layout this grid pane so see you next time